and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I'm taking a look at the new Conversation Heart Stencil. So this is two stencils that layer together. You can have the hearts or the words or you can layer them together to create fun conversation hearts on your projects. So for my card today, I'm going to be doing some inking on some craft card stock using some oxide inks. And I've got my little station here. I'm going to put some temporary adhesive on the back to hold it in place. And then I'll use the magnets to hold my stencils in place. So I cut this cardstock with a stitched rectangle already so it has that nice stitching detail. And I know exactly how big it's going to be on the front of my card. So I can center up my heart stencil where I want it. And then I'm going to use the magnets to hold it in place on my mat. So I'm using Distress Oxides on Craft, which has a really fun look. And I'm going to use a color scheme that's pinks and greens. So it's a little non-traditional, but I just kind of came across this while these were sitting on my desk. And I thought this might look pretty cool. So that is what I'm starting with. And I'm going in with Lucky Clover at the bottom. And then I'm going to go in with some Twisted Citron on the row right above it. So I'm making sure to stay on the row of hearts. And then I'm gonna pull those colors together a little bit. So I'm gonna bring that Lucky Clover up to the bottom of those Twisted Citron hearts and kind of blend them together. And they're gonna blend just on this row. Then I'm gonna switch over to the pink. So I'm gonna wipe off a little bit of that green so I don't grab it with my pink accidentally and pull it in. And I'm going in with the darker of my two pinks. This is Worn Lipstick. You can see I'm going up on that next row a little bit so that the bottom of the next row of hearts will have two colors. And then I'm going to go in with Spun Sugar, which is the lightest of all my colors. And I'm going to blend the rest all the way to the top with that. So that one row of hearts there is going to be my Spun Sugar and my Worn Lipstick together. And then everything above that is going to be Spun Sugar. And these Oxide inks will sit on top of that craft card stock because they have some pigment ink in them and it has a really cool look. So you could just leave it like this with the hearts or you can take the other stencil and layer it and do some words, which is what I'm going to do. But first let's look at it if it was just hearts, which I just think looks really lovely as well. But I'm going to clean up around it with just a baby wipe. I'm just wiping off any of the ink that ended up off of my cardstock. And then I'm going to layer these words right on top. You can see through the stencil pretty well to see where those hearts are and you just kind of line them up and all these words are going to fit right in the hearts. So once I've got that where it needs to be, I can just put my magnets right back on here and hold it in place. Now I'm going to do two things through this stencil. I'm going to do some white pigment ink and I'm also going to do some glitter paste. And I'll tell you right now that I turned my camera off and forgot the glitter paste part. <laughs> but I'm doing my white ink first and actually what I'm doing is I'm taking a foam applicator and I'm just dabbing it. I'm not moving it in a circular motion. I'm just pouncing it into these openings. I have found this is a good way to add this white pigment ink, at least for me. So I pounce it in there and it's not very smooth when you do it like this, but it gets the ink in that opening and then you can go back with the blending brush and kind of smooth it out and get that nice white smooth look. I found that if I try to smooth it with the foam or apply the ink with the brush sometimes I just get globs that kind of get caught on the edges and it just looks messy. So this is my method that I found. Now like I said I forgot to film my part with the glitter paste but I would have, I, well, I actually did take this off and clean it and then line it back up to do the glitter. So this is pretty accurate, but you could also just put the glitter right straight through there. You don't have to clean off the stencil first. So 
So here's that glitter piece that I neglected to film, but it actually gives it a really cool kind of three-dimensional look because that paste has some texture to it and sticks up from the background. Now that it's all dry, I've put some foam tape on the back of my panel and I'm just going to put this on a peacock cardstock card base. So I'm going to get that nice dark teal border all the way around it, which I think goes really well with the Lucky Clover. Once it dried on the craft, it's kind of more teal than green. And then for my sentiment, I'm just using die cut. So I have a Scripty Hugs, and I also use Finley's ABCs, the B, I, and the G, to die cut the word big. And I've cut the Scripty Hugs from regular white cardstock three times, and then once from white glitter cardstock. And I'm going to stack these together so you get that really thick kind of chipboard looking sentiment. So I'm just going to add liquid glue to each of the layers and just stack them all together, making sure that my glitter one is on top so you get that nice glitter look on the very top. This always gives the sentiment some nice dimension, which is kind of hard to do with a thin sentiment like this using foam. So it may be extra die cutting, but I just think that extra work and that extra element really has a nice look on the finished card. And then of course I'm going to do the same with my die cut individual letters that you see there, the B, I, and the G. So again, I'm going to layer all the plain white ones first, and then I'll layer the glitter one on top. And I'm just making sure that I clean up the glue that might squish out the sides. That's why I use that craft pick there to kind of scrape it away. And now that these are all stacked, I can put them directly onto my card. I'm being sure to use some liquid glue because I am layering it over that glitter paste, which has some height to it. So you want to make sure everything sticks down really well. And my other letters above it are not glued down yet. They're just laying there for placement. And then I'm actually going to start with the eye, which is in the middle. And I'll show you how I'm going to do the dot here in just a minute. But I'm starting in the center and working my way out so that everything's nice and centered. So I'm just adding the B and the G, and you can see when I put these on, I'm kind of pushing down with a lot of pressure. I'm trying to get that glue all the way to the card base past that glitter that kind of sticks up. And then for the eye, the dot of the eye, I find it, it's easier to stack these, and yes, I did stack them because I want it to look the same, directly onto the card. So I'm just putting a dot of glue, and I'm picking up each of those white cardstock dots and just putting it down using my embellishment wand, which makes it really easy to pick up and see what you're doing. Your fingers don't get in the way. And then the last one I'll put on, of course, is that glitter one. And then finally, to finish it off with a little bit of embellishment, I'm just adding some clear iridescent sequins that I scattered around. And here is that finished card, and I just love the way it turned out. Now let's take a look at some examples from the design team. I love Audrey's card and how she used just the heart stencil to add some pattern to that die-cut background behind that sweet 
pink owl. I just think it is so adorable. I love Elise's super colorful rainbow conversation hearts on her background, and I just love that bold black sentiment at the bottom as well. Elena created a super sweet card with the cute little bear from Dead Sweet Den, and I love that pink with red that she did for her background. She also used the heart from the center picture window heart add-on to create that window. Letitia used the stencil to decorate her gift card heart envelope, and I just think it is so adorable. And Megan created a super sweet card using the gift card heart envelope on a card base, and I love that cute little hedgehog peeping over top. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye!